Hey, hey, what's good? It's your boy No Love just hitting you up once again. Uh, I got a new video for you. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be showing you um, little techniques, old school things that have probably been lost in time. If you see the iron out, then you know it's probably got something to do with me ironing. So, yep, you guessed it, and you see a hat right there. Bam, we're going to crease a hat. Some of you probably like, fuck this motherfucker mean we're going to crease a hat. How the fuck you crease a hat? Yeah, we used to crease our hats back in the day. Um, figure, fuck it. This is one of the best ones. I to do it with. I was gonna go buy one at the store, just uh, one to fuck with, but hey, I'll do it on this one. Old school gangster cholo shit. And I usually sport this one. Um, it's exactly what I need. Kind of has that old school feel. This is almost how like the 90s hats were. And then fitted hats, we didn't really call them fitted hats. That was like a, a pro cap. That's what we call it, like a pro hat. Since that's what all the pros wore, they wore all the fitted ones. Um, basically everything had a snap back in the back, so. Um, you had snapbacks. I don't remember anybody calling it a snapback back then. It was just like a hat. Yeah, um, show you guys some old school shit. Uh, this is one of the ones a lot of the homies used to do. I mean, even back then, like when I was growing up in the 90s, some dudes did it, a lot of dudes didn't. It was one of those fine techniques. If you really wanted your shit to stand out, this is what you did. So, show you this one. All right, first up, you're gonna be doing a lot of shit by hand, so make sure to wash your hands. Um, get all them oils off your hands do all that shit because yeah you're gonna be touching a lot of shit and that's one of the ways you find out when you iron you keep your shit crispy a lot uh, you find out that's a fucking easy way to fuck your shit up is to have oily fingers and you'll see that shit on your shirt like a brand new white tee if you got some fucking oily ass fingers and all that shit so yeah clean your shit up because you don't want to do all that for nothing and with the hat it's extremely hard to get that shit out so let's do it Got your hat Make sure it's all the way out, at least, you know, kind of even or just fat out, not super tight. Crease is going to go around like this there, so you're going to come from here to about right there. Start doing it by hand. These are kind of like your guiding points right there, those little holes, so kind of get them right there. Start pinching, like I showed you in that uh, baby cuff video, pinch it that shit, so that's, that's making your little hand crease right there. Start sliding it out right there, and bam, other side, Let's go all the way around. Yeah, see, this is you want to pinch that shit to basically just guide it by hand first, but you could still kind of work with it if it's not perfect. The iron that's what sets it in right there, so make sure you're lining up on each side. So, bam, I'm gonna go a little bit above where the snap is right there, and yeah, like back on the lingo, too. Yeah, like when I was growing up. We didn't, I don't remember anybody calling it a snapback. It was just like, those were the hats that everybody had. So um, with the fitted ones, we called them pro caps. Cause like I said, the pros, that's who was wearing those. Those were like expensive hats back then. So we were like, oh, that's a pro hat. That was like some old school lingo we used to call it. I don't remember fitted cap, like in my, but then again, every neighborhood was different. Everybody had their own lingo. So in my neighborhood, it was like, I don't remember us talking like that, but maybe in two cities over, that's what they were calling it. But all right so see that right there looking good you're all the way around just looking good right there you're pretty much even on both sides i was told back in the day like when them old lost stories that um, these cats used to get like a big ass coffee can one of the metal empty ones um like a hills brothers or whatever and they would wash their hat and then set their hat on the coffee can and that would set like your fucking crease into your hat i never did it like that but that's what i was told that's an old school story um just when i was told it's been lost in time let's preserve it with uh, youtube let's make sure this shit's loaded Boy, this is a fresh iron. Just bought this shit too. So remember, get your bandana out. You could use whatever color you want, preferably red. All right, let's start setting it. Use the bandana because once again, you don't want to have like a lot of shine on your shit. So to avoid the shine, I don't use um, like starch. That gives it a lot of shine, I think. Um, so I kind of stay away from starch. Now, when I was young, I used to starch them the fuck out. So start following that crease. Remember, steam. That's the key. Steam. And you're only doing a little bit at a time. I mean, you only got so much space to work with while you're following it. So, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I think the hats they used to make back in the day, like, 
the popular ones, kind of like the starter hats. I think they made them a little different than these modern ones. Uh, everything changes with, you know, the way people wear it, the size, like, you know, if they're wearing baggy, if they're wearing it tighter. But I want to say hats were a little bit different back then. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. If you collect hats, you can chime in if you, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. If I'm right, let me know. Just let me know. I remember follow it all the way around. Now that it's a little more set, you can kind of start getting in there a little bit closer to the middle. And that steam. Okay, bam. Let's see, now we gotta guide it. Yeah, like this is an old school art right here. We used to crease everything back in the day. Like I said, all the sweater shit, you'd be doing stripes, front, back. Some dudes do one on the front, one on the back, one on the front, one, three on the back. Um, just it's a gang of different ways to rock your shit. So then you can go around other side, start creasing your shit. Got it right there, looking good. set in pretty good right there when you pop it out with the finished product you got that crease all the way around look at that bam from end to end get a good look at that crease let's see so yeah kind of it'll follow from bam right where it ends all the way around and right there on the other side so i don't really think you could do this with the um, with the fitted hat i don't think it'll work so um to my knowledge it was just snapbacks used to be able to do this with so this is just a little lost art that you know i wanted to keep out there for you in the world here it is right here old shit hopefully they bring it back and still keep doing it but yeah try it for yourself one day much love